So I'll be reading a piece that's part of a larger piece I'm doing. I'm working with a cellist now, and we're doing a piece called Sonata for Syria. And there are three parts, as a sonata is. Um, but this first part, I was in between cellists, as one is. And, um, <laughs> and I had come across this, which I'd heard before, which is Music for Airports by Brian Eno. And it just fit. And I kept listening over and over and over again and using that to think about the calm within the chaos. If I were Syrian, where's the calm within the chaos? Um, so let me tell you a little bit about this project of Brian Eno's. Music for Airports is in fact the first ambient music recording. He coined the term ambient music as a reaction to Muzak. <laughs> um, not that we don't love a little Muzak, but okay. So in 1977 he was in JFK Airport and he is a nervous flyer, or at least was at the time, and he went into the airport and between the Muzak and the chaos of the airport, he felt even more discombobulated and upset than he did going in already nervous, right? So he was like, oh my God, we have to figure out an antidote to this. And then he, a few months later, had a completely opposite feeling. He went to the Cologne airport in Germany and the architecture is lovely. And I believe actually the architect, the principal architect is um, the father of a guy who's in craft work. So, that's kind of crazy coincidence, I guess, but <laughs> or not. Um, and he felt like it calmed him down and made him more prepared to get on this plane. And so he wanted to create an environment musically that would counter the sort of music and chaos of all the announcements and everything and really calm people before they entered into a kind of crazy thing of setting yourself up in the air at 500 miles an hour. <laughs> um, so I'm going to just read from his liner notes that he wrote for the American edition and it came out in September of 78. The concept of music designed specifically as a background feature in the environment was pioneered by Muzak Inc. in the 50s. Understandably, this has led most discerning listeners and most composers to dismiss entirely the concept of environmental music as a worthy idea of, intent, of attention. To create a distinction between my own experience, experiments in this area and the products of various purveyors of canned music, I have begun to use the term ambient music. My intention is to produce original pieces ostensibly, but not exclusively, for particular times and situations. Ambient music is intended to induce calm and a space to think. Ambient music must be as ignorable as it is interesting. Um, so, what I liked was it's, in, it's intended to induce calm and a space to think. And it really provided that for me with with this piece, and I, I'll just keep it running, see how it, <laughs> how it works with the actual poem. In the poem, uh, I quote, and you will, it's pretty evident where the quote is from, but I quote four passages, or three passages of the Syrian National Anthem. And, you know, I really ask you to think about the national anthems of where you come from and their lyrics. Uh, they're usually pretty aggressive and not really what you necessarily want your country to be known for, but I'm just throwing that out there. Um, so Sonata for Syria, one, music for airports. In airports, belly broken, I wait for air, for water, for food. In slow motion, I sit, sounds clouded, mind numbed, chaos blurred, 
O guardians of the homeland. My suit soiled, my hands now steady, I remember to breathe, to inhale the stale smoke and anxious air of reluctant migrants, to exhale the heaviness inside. Upon you be peace. Like the little prince's drunkard, I try to forget, forget that I am ashamed, ashamed that I am alive, ashamed that I live here still, that my voice has lost its timber. Our proud spirits refuse to be humiliated. In August, there was Leila. In October, Saeed. In November, 12 of us in one room, soft snow on sills. Ten survived the blasts, three survived the winter, and now, in airport, in awe, inept, I sit alone. Thank you.